pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, what have you done with it? Have you taken it out? Ramped it up a little? Yeah, Let's get this motherfucker cold start. everybody appreciate everybody that been staying tuned you know fucking with the boy the ones that like subscribe and comment you feel me i appreciate y'all too but today i'm gonna do the video on my car the one year anniversary um i got it january the 24th even though this video a little late it's because all this damn snow on this fucking ground but I finally got a good day. So I'm gonna go wash the car and just let you know about all the stuff that happened in the year. Pros, cons, maintenance, um, everything. I'm gonna give you the whole rundown of everything. How many oil changes I did. So just stay tuned. Let's go down here and wash the car because I'm cold. God damn, it's cold outside. But yeah, stay tuned. I couldn't even get out the damn pocket spot. My shit was literally on the ice. That's crazy. <laughs> it just took me like 10, 15 minutes to get out. <clears throat> Had to throw some ice melt down and everything. But let's get into the video. So when I first got the car, it was like the break-in period, pretty much. So I listened to GM on their breaking period. So I babied it for like the first, I think 1,500 miles, I believe. Um, but after that, but I got my first oil change at like 150 miles, maybe 200 to be exact, just to get all that um, oil I mean, not the oil, get all them silver shavings and everything out, you know. It was just something I heard that, you know, like the metal shavings from a brand new car could be inside your engine. So it's good to get your oil changed a little earlier. That way you can do that. But besides that, um, I got three oil changes total. And I'm ready to get me another one probably next next month pretty much because I'm close to my next oil change but um, I'm going to make a video for that one so I can show y'all how to change y'all oil in a Camaro but other than that um, the three oil changes I did get was free from Chevy if you don't know Chevy had damaged my car so the first one comes free and the other two was free because they fucked my car. And that's what they gave me, two free fucking oil changes. And other than that, um, I took my car all the way to Vegas. I went down to Santa Cruz. I did a couple road trips with it. When I came back from Vegas, that's when my car had got scratched up. What the fuck? Yo, really? This ain't bad, right? Yeah, it is. Now scratch make it real ugly. Make you not even want to drive it. Okay. All the stuff that happened in the year, if you don't know, check out the channel. I got videos of all that going on. So that came up to $10,000 in damage to my car for the paint and still to this day right now when I'm going to wash my car my paint is still not right so I'm trying to wait for the weather to get better I'm gonna go down to Ceramic Pro for them to try to um, fix my paint try to do it the best they can do right now I don't know what the fuck to say 
shit make me not even want my car still. Still make me want to go trade it in. But I ain't sure yet. Other than that, I'm also going to do a giveaway. Um, I think it's the 1LE front splitter. Well, I guess it's a 19 through 22, maybe 23 two years. Um, I'm going to leave the picture like right here somewhere or right there. But, um, yeah, I had got it probably like, shit, back in August, I believe. I've been meaning to do a giveaway, but it's just been so much BS with this darn car. You know, with the paint and everything fucked up, so. But, yeah, I'm going to do that giveaway. Stay tuned. I'm going to leave the details. Well, I'm going to tell y'all about the details in a little bit. But, let's go wash this car. Okay, so, let's go over the things that I love about the car pretty much because it is some things I love about it and there's still some things I don't like about it. Um, one of them is the heated steering wheel, heated seats, you know, things like that, memory seats. I love all that still. Still work, still function good, no fuck ups within my first year. So that's good. Um, what else I love? I like the way the automatic drive. I hear a lot of people talk down on the automatic, but if anybody that follow my channel, you know I smoke and I drive, so I can't be shifting gears and you know, smoking. That don't look right. I don't know, but that's just me, not for everybody. If you can't get an automatic, I say get an automatic. You can get a manual, you like manuals. They said manual was the best. I just seen Chevy, they got a Camaro over there. We probably gonna go look at that one. Right after I go wash my car so I can be pulling up clean. But um, what else I love about the car? I pretty much love the way this motherfucker still drive. This still drive good to me, I'm not even lying. Nothing handling, you know, I got the 1LE magnetic brass suspension. That's still A1. I didn't need no alignment. I didn't need any maintenance since I got this car. Only one time when I first got the car, I put my car in reverse when I was leaving uh, the gas station. And <clears throat> my backup camera wouldn't light up. So since my backup camera, oh shit, let me slow this bitch down. Since my backup camera wouldn't light up, I mean, come on on the camera. I went to Chevy. They said I had a faulty backup camera. So they replaced that for free because it was under warranty. But other than that, that's the, and that's one reason why I'm still, like it's a lot of mod modifications I want to do to my car, but I just don't want to avoid my warranty yet. But I'm getting into that just fuck it mode and just go ahead because my paint still make me, that's the only thing that still make me not, make it feel like a new car to me, but yeah. Oh shit, slow down, I'm going too fast, run the light. Like. But yeah, stay tuned. That's pretty much all the things I love about the car. Besides the interior lighting like this, you can change it up. Um, you know, stuff like that, I'm not sure. I never used the cruise control since I had the car. I'm probably going to do that soon. So, so, if you didn't check my videos out, I did do the launch control. Gone in 60 seconds. Zero to 60. I call it gone in 60 seconds. Um, first burnout. Check that out. I didn't never change my tires. I did two burnouts since I had it. And I haven't changed my tires yet. So these are summer tires. That's why I can't, it's hard for me to drive because they need something to grip on and the roads be so damn slippery. So I don't be trying to risk that shit. That's why I got my big ass truck. But other than that, um, 
Okay, now we got the car nice and clean. Looking back like my Oreo. Size all these holograms in it. But there we go right now. Nice and clean. There we go, looking all nice and clean and shit. See my baby. Uh huh, looking all crazy. I see you. But anyway, I don't know if you can see, but I still got holograms all the way through my car. That's what I was talking about. And when I was washing it, I elbowed this. This shit coming off. I might as well take this shit off and re-glue this. This shit gonna fly off, I feel like. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna take it off. Ugh. Cause I don't want it to fly off. But, drying the car, elbow that motherfucker. It look crazy. So I gotta wipe some of that glue off. But anyway, let's get back into the video. I know. Very nice. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, what have you done with it? Are you taking it out, ramped it up a little? Yeah, I'm about to start doing stuff under the hood soon. I just didn't want to avoid my warranty. Yeah. Everything right now is just like custom things, like new wing tail lights it's and stuff like gorgeous. that. Gorgeous. Yeah. I can't believe the paint on this thing. It's like perfect. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm no, not no, car. you good, man. You good. I'm going like, you know, I love my little ride, but <laughs> you know, seeing a muscle like this, this thing's crazy. Yeah, it got hella power too. Oh, well, I bet I can't, it does. I can't wait till it get hot so I can really drive it like I want to drive it. Well, you're in the right neighborhood for it, you know. I-80, <laughs> it's got. You can, yeah. you can crank that thing. I'm gonna hit it going back up to Carson. Well, this is going to be interesting to see how much this thing can do. Yeah. What do you think? I, the most I can get hit in it so far is 175. <laughs> 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 yes, sir. Oh, my God. No kidding. Yeah, I did man, 175. Must, you must have felt like you were like an astronaut or something. Yeah, man. I did 170. I've never done 175. Yep, yeah, I did 175. And that's when I was going towards Vegas. Sexy beast, man. Yeah. I'm sure the ladies don't like it at all. Hey. <laughs> I'm sure they don't. <laughs> they must be like falling down to get a ride in this house. Hey. <laughs> and all the things I don't like about the car, well, you already know. I already did the pros and cons video, so... The things I like and don't like about the video, I'll leave the description up there. I'm not ready to get into all that again because I made a video for y'all already about that. So, it was cool what the little man was saying. He was out there talking for a while. But, yeah. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all plan on getting the Camaro how long you had your Camaro? Is it coming up on a year, two year anniversary, three years? Have you had any mechanical problems? Cause what I heard of Camaros really don't have too many mechanical problems. So like everybody, all the channels I be following, they don't be having mechanical problems that I, that I know of. So that's something to know, but yeah. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe. Appreciate everybody. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. What happened throughout the whole year of me having this car. Um, I don't think I'm leaving nothing out pretty much. So that's what happened since I had the car. I'll leave a playlist of all the modifications up there that I put on the car for you. So you can check out all the mods I did to the car because I did a couple of them, but I got a lot more coming. I'm just waiting for the weather to get better. So, yeah. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate everybody that stayed tuned. You know, finished watching the video and everything. And now we about to get into these giveaway details. So, if you want a chance to try to win that um, 1LE front splitter, 
this one right here or right there. I don't know where they be putting that thing at, but in one of them corners, <laughs> first of all, I need you to go ahead and like, subscribe to the channel and comment on this video. It can be any comment you want. Second, you also need to comment with an emoji. It can be any emoji on any one of my other videos. That's how you can enter to win for the 1LE. My bad, I'm looking at people moving around. But that's how you get to enter for the 1LE um, front splitter. Um, remember, I believe it's a 19, a 19 to a 22. So, yeah, you can comment on the video. You can tell me what year your car is, what color your car is, anything. Just comment and also leave emoji on any other video. It could be anything. Happy face, smiley face, fire, anything. I don't care. Just put emoji on it and that's how you enter. So if you're watching this video after March the 31st would be the last day for the entry for this video. So anybody that's trying to win this 1LE, just all you got to do, I'll ship it to you, everything. So just know that. This is the second giveaway I did. The first giveaway I got, um, Blueprint 1LE had won the headlight. So shout out to him. Check out his channel too. But anyway, fuck with the boy. Appreciate y'all. Come to the kitchen, make a crystal lot. Niggas that ain't fucking with me. I heard y'all compromise. I had to throw my 40 away. That bitch was customized. These niggas really talking about beef. It must be dinner time. I'm hollering to the meat off your bone. Them niggas tenderize. Who said they Beat fucking with me? They must be out in mind, but never get a bottle line. Yo, you gon' run a bottle time. It's probably cause of homicide. I probably left them traumatized. These niggas ain't fucking with me. Let's get it some